Hey guys, Anthony Hawk 7 here with my Constellar deck profile. Um, it's a lot different than um, everybody else's uh, uh, deck profiles. Um, as you could probably tell by the title, um, I don't run Shiritan. Um, I'd like to get some more DTs right now. All I have is like the extra deck and. Um, house and um, I'd like to get more of the main deck DT because uh, they don't warp as bad when they're DT uh, I noticed like using the crappy hidden arsenal cards it just warps the sleeves and stuff like that and it's horrible and makes the deck look like crap anyways um, as the deck goes we got three cows of course He's the level manipulator in the deck, so um, this is pretty much your main card of the deck. Uh, you want to search this out more than anything else. Uh, that and Sombre. Um, next is uh, Pollux. I don't run Rhoda because he's not the main card that you need to search out. Anyways, um, I run three Sombres, and uh, of course, and I run two Abjides. Uh For this version of deck, the way I run it, uh, you don't need three. Um, here's where the oddballs start going, and I'll tell you why I run this guy. I run two Constellar Rassel. The reason I run this guy is people think that he's dead a lot, but Kaos can turn him into a 4, so he's not really that dead. Um, I can also, since he doesn't specifically say a uh, Constellar level 4 monster, I can bring back one of my exceeds in defense mode and go into M7. I can... it's he's also like gets those dead um, uh, say you have a constellar in your graveyard and uh, this guy and sombre this guy gives you you can special summon sombre by sacking him from your uh, you can special summon sombre from your hand by sacking him on the field giving you two constellars and banishing him as one of the cards um, it's he's just really good um, as the oddballs of the deck go, I run two Lylas. Um, yeah, I don't run Bear in this build. I'm trying to get a Bear. I would run Bear over probably uh, Thrasher, more than likely. This is the reason why I say screw Sheraton. This guy is so much better than Sheraton. He doesn't fit the whole deck style of light, but he special summons pretty much anything that you want from your deck, uh, minus like Rassel and stuff like that. But this guy allows you to set up, go off, whatever you want. This guy special summons Sombre from your deck. Or say you have a Sombre and this guy in your hand. Um, and since the deck runs lots of spell cards. You can normal summon this. Go into a Sombre. Exceed. And into a chain. Uh, detach material. Uh, detach the Constellar. Whatever Constellar that you want to pick. And then Mila. Constellar, that way the Sombre is no longer dead in your hand. Other than that, Shuriken would just be like, normal summon, um, go ahead, smack me in the face really, really hard, and uh, you're good. I run, I run one Thrasher, so the uh, Lylas in the deck aren't as dead. Um, like I said, I would probably take out Thrasher for Bear. Um... And he's also an oddball. Anyways, as for more oddballs, I run Grand Mole. Now, Grand Mole just 
just says F you to the meta. It says F you to Dracosac. It says F you to Ophion. Uh, it doesn't matter if they have Dark Illusion down there. This guy doesn't target. So you can just smack into it and not have to worry about anything. Not to mention since Kaos, Kaos um, level manipulates, this guy isn't as dead normally. And I run Zen mains. So, yeah. And of course you have to run Honest. Honest is beastly. Uh, two tankies. Uh, if, I were, if I were to get a bear, I'd probably bump it up to three tankies. But this version of the deck doesn't really need the third tanky because I can just bounce it back a lot with uh, Palladius. I run two Lance. You gotta let your uh, combos go off. All that hoot at. Two Dress. Again, a lot of people run... Uh, you're running into those bears that pop your crap. You're running into bottomlesses. All that who dat and stuff. And, um... Uh, what's his name? Bahamut. Bahamut's got to target your shit to take over it, so... Uh, do that. One mind control. Uh... I run Utopia Ray. Um, Kaos, Kaos can be any level, so um, I and I run like three through seven of uh, Exceeds. Uh, Staples, Dark Hole, Heavy, and Monster Reborn uh, for the traps. Two Compulse, two Fiendish Chain is the normal. Um, oddballs are threatening wars. I can't tell you how many times this card has saved me um, against insectors, against um, uh, evil swarms, against pretty much any deck. And it allows you to set up, especially when you got that chain out there. You just go into chain, set this, and they can't do anything. And more oddballs are two Call of the Haunteds. I love Call of the Haunted in this deck because of Palladius. Uh, just keep bouncing the calls back to your hand. Keep plussing and uh, keep exceeding and you just plus a lot. And last but not least, the two Solemn Brigade. As for the extra deck goes... We have one Gaia as a 7, um, one Volcasaurus, two M7s because of Rassel, two Palladius, two Omegas, one Preysape, one Paladynamo. You don't need more than one. One Utopia and Utopia Ray. I'd have the Ultra in here, but I just... I like the Super better. One Chain. This guy is a must in the deck. One Diamond Dyer for that stupid Light Imprisoning Mirror. Pop that shit. And one Zen Mains. As for the side deck goes, um, I side a third Palladius just in case. I side Chimera Techs, two Cyber Dragons, uh, two Lava Golems for uh, lots of decks, uh, mainly E Dragons. Ah, uh, screw you, uh, Light and Darkness Dragon. Uh, Mermails. Randomly. I don't even know what that's in there for. E-Dragons. 
Insectors slash Dark Worlds slash Evil Swarms. And that's just randomly in there. E Dragons. Uh, well, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoy, and uh, peace out.